Hi there, I am Lolita Molina, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I am in fact paralyzed. I have been paralyzed for 21 years, and the Cliff Notes version is that I was an immigrant, came to the United States, in foster care, I was left paralyzed through an act of child abuse. There you go, now you're all caught up. However, I have been able to walk. Huh? I explain. So, I had these things called, I called them walking braces. There is a more official term for them. I just don't remember what the lettering is. T-S-L-O, something like, something like that. Uh, I call them walking braces. I was using them for about 15, 16 years. I stopped officially using them in 2017 when my doctor basically said, I filled out all my growth plates, everything's looking good. Um, they wouldn't really hold much benefit to me outside of that. So I stopped using them and recently I decided I wanted to get back into the groove of it, have something to be able to just stand up, walk around, fix the alignment in my hip because the degree that they're at, they're just getting more scrunched and that's something I don't particularly like. So I decided to get that done and you guys are gonna be on this little journey with me. I think it's just gonna be a three part mini series just because there is semi a lot that goes into making the walking braces. I had some people ask questions about how they work. Um, how, what was the one question that someone had? Why don't I just get scanned for them? Because that is a new technology since I had them that you can just get the body scanned and it's made. They do it the old fashioned way where I get wrapped in plaster as you will see in the next few seconds. But I like that method, they like that method. I've been working with this company for again, 15, 16 years. And it just, it works better because it is a perfect cast of my body. It is a perfect mold to use in order to get everything exactly form fitted to me. Whereas scanning, they send it, you send that off to another company, it may not work all the time, there may be something wrong, and then you don't have the cast to fix it. So that is why we choose this old school method uh, to get me up and moving around. So I hope you guys enjoy and hopefully I will remember to show you some clips before it gets too cold out on how I got exercise for the past over a decade, almost two decades. For context, I would be in these walking braces growing up eight hours a day, seven days a week with one 10 minute break where I got to lay on my stomach still in the braces. That's to give you an insight on why teenage me hated these stupid things. I have photos, hopefully I'll remember to edit them into the video, but enjoy this journey. I'm, I'm excited to be up and walking again. I'm curious to see if my brain and my body remember how things work, because it's been a few years, but here we are. Let's get, let's get to it. I unfortunately might just have to go white this time around, just because it's fun news, we were talking about it. Yeah. Um, some auditions that I got, uh -huh. uh, they were looking for people who can use walking braces. Oh, really? Oh, cool. So I was trying to see if I could keep it as neutral as possible. Yeah. Nothing too fancy yeah, or flashy. Modeling or for acting. acting. Yeah. yeah, I've been working on other travels uh, yeah, for yeah. learning how to do things. So, so how to do we're testing her out. <laughs> um, it went well <laughs> getting there. Yeah. Um, but then on the way back, I ran into a couple of issues, but, you know. Oh, really? It was all learning experience. Just, just mm -hmm. uh, getting around airports, maybe, like that kind of thing, or airplanes? Or? No, I had something go wrong with my seat cushion. Oh, really? Uh, no, luckily, we were just about to land, like, within, like, what was it, 45 mm -hmm. minutes-ish. So I called Ruth as soon as I got service and went, you're not going to believe what happened. <laughs> It popped. I wrote well, well, you know, you know, Sorry? So do you have, do you have people yeah. that you know how to get yeah. them real quick? Sorry? Did you, were you able to get a new one pretty quickly or? I mean, I'm having is issues it? with this one. And they were like, I didn't know they did full body ones. And so they wanted to see how it's made. It's interesting because, um, you know, and, and some of the younger people, the new generation, they're not uh, as, as forced to be up the room. I think there, there's like phases like where Things are in favor and then things kind of come out of favor and you do some more of these at certain times and other times you don't and uh, I'm not sure why that happens that way but for a long time then you know it seemed that there was just a chance more people were just saying well it's easier to be in the chair and, and it's such a you know how much work we went through to keeping you up and going but it was so good for you over yes, time. I mean, absolutely. I hated it Everybody, as a team. I'm getting growing up so it, it made it easier for you 
Yeah, as roof members, it was all day, every day. Oh, yeah. One 10 minute break. <laughs> yep, I was allowed to lay her on the floor for 10, 15 minutes and get her back up. <laughs> But we'd go all over. Oh yeah. Oh, we used to go all over the neighborhood, up in the backyard. Oh, heck yeah! I had to check her every time she got out of them. Oh yeah. Yes. I don't mean a battle. I enjoy working with you for sure, but yeah, we had to check her for the sores. Do you have a, a channel, a, a YouTube channel or something? Maybe? I have multiple channels. <laughs> I do. Inter the internet's so vast. It's interesting because there's a couple of really cool ones where the, I forget what they're called, but they're different ones where the people just try out equipment, mm -hmm. learn how to how to transfer, complain about hotels that say they're it's accessible but they can't reach the light because it's an important yep. kind of thing. All the simple the things thing. that you don't do yet. Travel, yes. That's really good to kind of let people know that. Yeah. Oh, Ruth would love the hotel I did stay at for a few days. Oh, it really? Per almost perfect. Was it? They couldn't get me a roll in shower, so I, they had the tub. Uh -huh. I almost fell in between the chairs. Oh, really? Trying to get out. Other than that, though, it was great. Because a lot of them don't understand, like if you're in your wheelchair and have to use the toilet, you, you have to have room to transfer, and a lot of them do not have that space. Yeah. Especially homes and apartments that they say are ADA compliant in the building and they're not. Right. Well, we've gone to many that there's no way a person could transfer on their own into the tub or the the um toilet i mean there's no way what part's doing her doing her trunk that's yeah. the fun part right oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I get to feel it. and we always say we don't get it on the ceiling we didn't do a good job but, yeah you know and, the, and there's scanners people do scanning and different things uh still but or and it's, it's advancing quickly, but honestly, there's nothing like that. The hands on, grab of your foot, yep. positioning your foot. I don't, you know, that technology is out there, and somebody might say, well, why are they casting you? Why don't they just scan you? And, but honestly, those scan components that I've done over in the past just don't show up as good as what we're doing. You know, yeah. We just don't. And I have a mold of your foot. So if we do the scanning components, we shoot it off somewhere and have it done. What They're not going to know. Yeah. And so then they come back, and then I don't have your cast. Like, if I could see, hey, this spot right there is hurting, I need to fix it. I got to send it out there, maybe mark an X on it, see what happens, you know? Where I'm here, I can look at it, I can I have the mold, I can adjust right. that and do what we have to do. Yeah. Know? Yeah. This isn't our first rodeo. <laughs> You're a kid over me. She is. <laughs> She's a baby. <laughs> I remember how this how this process goes. Yeah. She was prepared. Yeah, we Something. Well, I was standing out there. Tiffany go to pick up her. I think just said, hey, "Well, she opened the door for Joe. Maybe said it." And Tiffany goes, "Yeah, she knows the girl." <laughs> I, I, the worst thing was when we got here. I was thinking, "This is the right day, right?" Here. Can, I, can I tell you something funny? Uh, if I set the room up, which for you, I got everything ready. So then things will go quicker. You're not here, so, you know, everything will go quick. And I know you, and I, I had all the splits made. I had all the plans right. But if ever I set up ahead of time. It's a no-show. It's bad. <laughs> I was cautiously putting them together because it was you. I thought, ah, you'll be here. Because I'm someone who's so paranoid to be on time. I think Ruth instilled that in me. Yeah, it's better to be early than to late. To be yeah. early or right on the dot. Right. And a lot of people I know that, right? don't do that. <laughs> we have long relationships with a the therapist around them that we worked with for a long time. And so... Well, that um, was a funny story. When he brought up the walker. Yeah. And he was like, okay, get up. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> that was funny. And he just kind of looked at me and went, you can't walk there at all. Because, you know, I kind of wanted that just as a base for us. Right. You know, I felt like you and I did all the work. <laughs> you know? I just found that <laughs> hilarious because he's like, I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, he'll be right back and he goes get the walker and he goes, well, oh, wait a second. It was a I don't know. I got Yay. a spot for me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you got to have that where she can feel it. I mean, gee. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be breathing around. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So this this will be more supportive, so it won't be like super high or right. infr you know infringe on your movement in any way. We'll make sure that it's it's good. Quite toasty. <laughs> oh, that so. <laughs> You're like yeah, right, yeah. So it feels good. We take it off. Put yours on. Hmm. Those are too much fun. You ever seen House of Wax? That's what I feel like right now. I'll let her flex it or extend this a little bit more now. Well, I remember watching when I went, a to, more when I went to film school, they were showing how they did casts for like special effects makeup. Uh -huh. And I remember sitting there thinking, yeah, I know how they feel. Because they would say, this sucks. All right, we'll see you next week. All right. Um, it's, it, she's got views, so there's still, okay. She's good. Yeah, I mean, so she's right. good. She's where she is. Yeah, which is good. Which really nice long. It's from good really straight. Oh, yeah. She's got the best posture of anybody I know. That's the first thing that people will say to me. Say, I know. You can relax. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is how I am. That's what Kyle said to me before I could see. Because I need you to look more like slouched and like upset. And I said, this is as far as I can go. Yeah. And, and, you know, we spend time in the jackets to try to get along, you know, better get the growth out of you. You know, so yeah. all the teal and so forth that we did over time was to kind of get the growth before you finally had confusion. Yep. Because what was that, 50, 51 at that point? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. I said that like I remember. <laughs> <laughs> really was it like 50, 51, <laughs> my curvature? Oh, I thought it was like 29 or something. Or is that where no, it was 20, in the low? I was like six. Yeah. I have it written down somewhere. I have little logs. Yeah, somewhere where it pumps over. The there was something we wrote down, and then it went. And it's, it comes to the top, how, how big the curve is also, like your age. Once you get some growth good, and then. I'm glad I got it done. Like a dark gray during maternity clothes over the, the braces. That was fun. <laughs> I'm going to take this top piece off. We're going to really get this all out. Okay. And then I'll just leave you the scissors. And then you can cut the top bottom layer off. Are you okay doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I trust her really happy to do it. <laughs> yeah. Don't be hurting any sharp, right? Yeah, like little me right now would be falling. They cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. There were times, yes. Yes. If you want to fail. Yeah, and he would try and cheer me up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna roll you over towards me, okay. and then uh, pull this off like a clamshell, shell, okay? okay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. There you go. Leave that just right there. You can pull that the rest of the way out. Just leave one. There you Roll are. braces and then schedule an appointment to actually try them on so that'll be the next video the first fitting i think we go through like three iterations of that just to make sure there's no pressure sores it'll be a whole thing you'll see and you'll get to see the the walking bars so until the next time thank you so much <laughs>